Okay, something's moving right here. Hold on. Keep up, keep up. One of our most popular episodes in the first season of Breaking Trail featured the alligator snapping turtle. It's huge! It is huge! It's an alligator snapping turtle! Hold on, let me bring it back around this way. Whoa! Can you believe the size of that turtle? Holy cow! Whoa! And our title, The Biggest Turtle You've Ever Seen, brought with it a landslide of people writing in to tell us about the giant turtles that they've encountered. One particular story came from a man named Adam Ramides. In short, his message read, You are welcome to come down to the backwaters of Louisiana whenever you like. I catch tons of these giant turtles all the time. Throughout most of their range, alligator snapping turtles are incredibly rare. But I was curious, and I asked Adam to email me some photographic evidence of the turtles he had encountered. Needless to say, this guy was catching some giant dragons. And before I knew it, we were on our way to Minden, Louisiana. Adam Ramides, a local legend known by many as the Louisiana Turtle Man. He is of Native American descent, and his tribe, the Choctaw people, have many legends about the alligator snapping turtle, or loggerhead as they are called in the south. They believe that while this great creature was dangerous and could drag you to your death, it was also a powerful spirit guide that if encountered, could bring with it strength and wisdom. For the past 20 years, Adam has been using hoop nets to safely trap snapping turtles. When I got driver's license, I don't think I stayed home during the summers. I basically ran hoop nets from the time the trees turned green to the time the buds fell off the trees. He releases every catch back into the wild. But some incredible artifacts have been passed down to him over the years. True relics of the giants that roam these southern waters. It's possible that there's a world record loggerhead here in Louisiana. There's some big turtles in there, some really big turtles. He believes that this ancient reptile is a part of his being. That it truly has become his spirit animal. Well, here we are in Louisiana. I'm at Adam Ramides' house right now, the real Louisiana turtle man of the South. Uh, walking up right now, I can see he's got his turtle nets out, heading up to the door to meet him, and then we're gonna get out there and try to catch some giant alligator snapping turtles. Adam's family lives in a very humble and hardworking fashion. The Ramides residence is unique, inviting, and exactly the kind of place where even as a stranger, you feel completely at home. Southern hospitality smolders like the summer sun, and you are welcomed with open arms from both the human and canine type wherever you go. Yeah, you can't come out and catch dragons without saying hi to the dogs first. Hi guys, hi. All right. After some time hanging out with the dogs, we were ready to catch some turtles. This is when Adam introduced us to his yard pond. In anticipation for our arrival, and unbeknownst to us, he built a pond in his backyard and spent the past month filling it with loggerheads. All right, so Adam, you're telling me that there are 10 alligator snapping turtles living in this tiny little thing of water. I figured it'd be easier to catch them back out of this, so I just built this in the yard. So how deep is this? Uh, maybe shin deep. Look at that. This is like catching turtles in a barrel as far as yeah. I'm concerned. I'm gonna get in here and we're gonna see if we can pull out some monster dragons. Okay, I don't know how much I believe that there are 10 alligator snapping turtles in here, but Adam seems like a guy of his word. He has proven it with photographs and with skulls at this point. All right, I'm gonna get into this and see what we pull out. I'm even nervous just putting my hand down into it. I mean, there, you're telling me there could be a 40 pound turtle right here. Just kidding, no turtle, still have my fingers. I am, I'm actually really nervous right now. I didn't think I'd be nervous getting into this looking for these turtles. Cause I'm just gonna kinda wanna bump into them, right? There is, there is definitely a turtle right here. Okay, um, I'm gonna give you that stick. Now, anytime that I come across a snapping turtle and I can't actually see it, I have to feel with my fingers to find out which end is the front end and which end is the back end. 
and this is where it gets really risky. Always go back with the spines. If you go forward and you feel spines poking into you, you know you're going back towards his head. I got him from the side. Look at that, okay, there he is, there's his head. Look at that mouth, there it is. Holy cow, you were not kidding, Adam. This is the first alligator snapping turtle of Louisiana, and Adam, you were telling the truth, my friend. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna bring this guy out, and we're gonna make a whole pile of dragons out here. I'm so excited, I gotta get back in the water. All right, Mario, you keep an eye on big boy here. All right. He's gonna have his hands full with multiple alligator snapping turtles. All right, I'm getting back in. Watch your fingers, everybody watch your fingers. There we go, look at that, look at that tail. Nice one. That is a good looking dragon. Watch those jaws. Two I can handle. <laughs> Ten, I don't know. It's gonna be a handful. <laughs> this is definitely what we call risky business right here. Man, that guy's crazy. All right, he got his back end. Oh, two right next to each other, look at that. Ah! Wow. This is not the safest way to go about this. Look at you. That is turtle number six right there. You will get bit in there. They're, they're all in the bank. This is the biggest one yet. Jeez. Be careful with him. You got him? Watch your fingers. I'm pretty sure Adam thought it was insane. This is like an alligator snapping turtle Easter egg hunt. Only these Easter eggs have bone crushing jaws. I mean, who splashes around in a muddy pit full of giant turtles? Clearly, if anybody was at home in this situation, it would be me. This is easily a 30 pound turtle as well. Ah, look at that, turtle number eight. Cody, you need to watch your fingers. That is not something you want to get your fingers stuck in. Holy cow. Okay, is this what you expected when you, uh, Adam told you had a pond full of turtles behind his house? No, I did not. I also did not think that I would be in a tiny little mud pit this morning trying to catch 10 alligator snapping turtles, but it has happened. Let's count them back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. This is the 10th alligator snapping turtle that has come out of, Mark, show them how small this tiny space is. We just pulled 10 alligator snapping turtles out of a mud pit. I cannot wait to see what you find here in the backwaters of Louisiana. All right, let's go get an up close look at one of these prehistoric looking creatures. What you are looking at right here is what they refer to in Louisiana as a loggerhead, but what I know as an alligator snapping turtle. And this turtle is about 45 pounds and unbelievably prehistoric looking. Uh, he's real adamant on getting my hand or my nose in his mouth right now. But an alligator snapping turtle, unlike a common snapping turtle, has a much shorter reach. You see the size of that head, and that's part of the reason that they call them loggerheads, is his head just looks like a big tree stump. Now, the common snapping turtle is an aggressive, nomadic hunter, but the alligator snapping turtle, he will lay on the bottom of a river with his mouth just agape and that little fleshy appendage wiggling there in the water. This is called predatory mimicry. Now what a fish will do is swim in towards these jaws and then snap. Just like that, this turtle has its dinner. And these razor sharp jaws that you see right there and on the top, that is like a scissor how it crosses over and immediately will just crush, cut in half, and then digest anything that's unfortunate enough to swim in his mouth after that little fleshy worm looking appendage. Uh, but we just like to make sure that he's nice and hydrated. Look at the, the power in those jaws. Do you see that? That is unbelievable. And that can definitely take off your finger, crush your hand, possibly I mean, look at the size of my wrist. My wrist inside that turtle's mouth, he could probably crack my wrist if I were unfortunate enough to get my arm stuck in those jaws. Look at him, he's drooling. Look at that ah, dragon slime coming out of his mouth. Ugh. 
and that's got to be one of the coolest things I've ever done, diving into a mud puddle with 10 alligator snapping turtles. Now every one of these turtles that we captured today, or that I should say Adam captured for us and then I pulled out of the mud, is going to be returned to the wild, including this 45 pound dinosaur. What we're going to do next is head off into the bayou and see if we can get ourselves a world record. Stay tuned guys, Dragon Tales is about to get wild. I know you ever think you'd be around this many alligator snapping turtles at once. Mark, I'd love to talk to you right now, but I'm kind of dancing with a dragon here. It was a great first day in Louisiana. Ten turtles, and I still had all my fingers. I'm literally being chased down. Woo, look at this. Oh. Getting up close with these giant reptiles was incredible. But I needed to get out into the wild to try my luck at catching an alligator snapping turtle with my own methods. According to Adam, the turtles become very active at night, and he was going to take us to the place where he has encountered the largest loggerheads in Louisiana. See, he's a big turtle. He's underneath this log. Oh my gosh, he's the golden hat. You have the right end? Yep, there's his tail. There's his tail, you see him? Next time on Dragon Tales.